Hi, my name is Marlene, and I'm pretty sure you've seen um, the videos before of how to be a cheerleader, how to be the best cheerleader, and softball, how to pitch and fielding for softball. Now, um, oh, that's what I was thinking. Let me teach you guys how to do some skills before you land back handspring. Now, what you're going to learn is I'm going to do a bridge and stretch out our backs and our wrists and Okay, I'm going to do it from the floor because I can't really do it from that way because I just fell before. Okay, let's do it from here. And then you want to hold that for 10. And then you want to roll into a ball. And you want to go like this as we do in our gymnastics. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out now our ankles. I mean, our wrists. So, what you're going to do is you're going to have the palms on the floor like this with your Move it down so you can see. You don't want to be like this. You want to put your hands right here, just like this. You want to lean back for 10. And then you want to put like that, but have them facing towards you with your palms up. Okay. And now you want to have your fingers, no, fingers facing out. You want to pull back. You want to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some handstands onto a couch. This is what you're going to need. You're going to need a couch or you can do it on the side of your house, whatever you want. Okay, so the only way I learned how to do my back handspring was doing bridges and all that. So I would go like that and hold up against the wall and then come down after 10. Now. You want to practice that for about a couple minutes, and then after that, we're going to do some walk downs. Have you ever done, if you have done them before, then you can do them without a problem. But walk downs are when you go into a back bend. No, not walk downs. When you go into a back bend right here. And it stretches out your back and helps you. Now, when you get a back handspring like mine, you would be fine. My back handspring is looks like this. I'll show you step by step. I'll show you from the start, and then I'll do it again. And you can see from the middle, and then you can see from the end. Okay. So you gotta go. You can go up. You can start up, or you can do whatever you do for this. Whatever it doesn't matter. I start. I'm gonna start here, and I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna go back. Do not stick your butt out. You want to go here, you want to come down, you want to sit like this, you want to go back and you want to push. Okay, and this is how you start it. Just like that. Okay, now I'll show you from the middle. Here you go. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Just like that. Okay, well, you don't want to undercut, which is like, it hurt a lot. Now, when you undercut, drop the picture real quick. Oh, undercut. If I had a pen, I could show you what undercutting looks like. My hair's a mess. Well, undercutting, all right, this is your rubber band. This is what they do for my children. Okay, I'm going to fix my hair after. There. Okay, so there, are, this is the rubber band. When you undercut, it's like going like this in the same spot. You know what I mean? You don't want to do that in the same spot. You want to go back. You want to go as far as you can go. You don't want to stay in one spot. You want to go back so that it looks really, really nice and neat. Okay? So, practice with a spotter. Your spotter should hold you like this. Wait, I'm just facing towards me because it's really nice. Your spotter wants to have one on your back. And on your legs, so they support your legs, or like this, which I, I do it like this. So you go five, six, seven, I swing back, and they're supposed to pull your legs up so that you can go over. Try that with a spot, and that's it. That's all you need to know. If you have any more questions, please ask. And to a back handspring, you want to make sure that your hands are like this. They're not like this. Because I know when I started gymnastics and I started learning my back handspring, they were like this. They were out. And my gymnastics coaches, um, they say that you're not supposed to do that or else it'll, when you get older, it'll start hurting. 
Okay. And your back, you want to stretch it out every single day, as I do. And I do some yoga in the morning. And I suggest you do that too. Okay, if you have any more questions, just ask, because I'm really out of ideas right now for my kids.